showing you how to make a composite in Photoshop. And uh, a composite is essentially merging two images into one image um, to create your ideal vision. Um, so with this particular image, we're doing the froggy pose with baby. Uh, for safety, I had mom hold baby's at the top of her head and I took another image with her holding baby's arms. Okay, we're going to merge those two images um, so we don't have uh, an image with uh, mom's hands on baby's head. We want a nice clean area um, up, at, up at the top of baby's head without mom's arm. So to do that, I am going to uh, select File, go down to Place Linked. Uh, you might also have just Place in your version of Photoshop, it depends. And I'm going to scroll down and select the image that I'll be compositing or merging with this image. And there we go. I'm going to select place. I'm going to wait for that to be applied to this image. Now notice the image that I'm placing. I get her arms are holding the, um, or her hand is holding the arms of baby. I've got a nice clean top area of the image. I'm just going to press enter. Um, to place this photo. Okay, so next we'll be working with a layer mask. Okay, to do that, I can either click on this little rectangle with the, the circle in the middle, or I can go to layer, uh, layer mask, and we're going to select hide all. Okay, so notice how the rectangle, this is the layer mask, it's filled with black. Okay, when working with layer masks, black conceals and white reveals. So this entire image that we just placed on top of our original photo has been concealed. I do want to reveal the top of her head in this second image. So to do that, I'm going to select my brush, bring white to the foreground color down here at the bottom of my panel. And make sure your opacity is at 100%, okay? Now I'm not being extremely perfect at the moment or careful, I'm just brushing um, up towards the top of baby's head. Notice these two images are definitely not matching up. So at this point, now that I've revealed what I, I want to see, which is a nice clean uh, area around the top of baby's head, I'm going to select my move tool. Okay, and I'm going to start moving this image around. It's a little bit big. If you notice, I did take the image at a different angle than the first image. <laughs> okay, the best way to do a composite is to be at the same angle and at the same distance. I did not do that, so that'll just make it that much more fun when we're creating this particular composite. But you'll see how I match this up here. So notice uh, when I'm resizing, I'm still keeping the same original dimensions. Um, I'm just pressing, to do that, I'm pressing shift and clicking at the same time so I don't warp my um, size ratio. Okay, so I'm just going to play with this and kind of see how it's matching up with the original image. And I can also, sometimes I'll bring down the opacity just to see where I'm at here. I'm going to make it a touch bigger. bring down the opacity again just to see where I'm at. Okay. I'm liking that right now. So now there are still a few more changes. I just want the top of her head to show and it looks like I had painted on some of the, the eye and other facial eye uh, areas from the, the second layer. So I'm going to select my brush again and select apply. Uh, and this time we're going to bring black to the foreground color to conceal some of the extra areas that I had painted and revealed um, from this image. So I just want baby's eyes to show through here. There we go. And that's perfect. Now I'm, I'm doing this super fast. So just for the tutorial's sake, normally you'll want to zoom in and check the edges, make sure everything's looking nice. Maybe go back and do another resize and match up. Uh, right now I'm really liking what I see. You can do this uh, with faces if you really like one face from an image and want to match it up and uh, apply it to uh, another image. 
the, the same steps apply. And uh, now obviously at this point, we need to go in and remove the rest of her arm and um, paint in the rest of the, the basket rail here. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in a, another tutorial. You can go ahead and click on the uh, top of the current tutorial and uh, on the little pop-up there, and it should take you to that if you'd like to watch. Thank you so much.